There. Hi, thank you so much for joining me on this special Crafting Coach Star Wars episode. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am the Crafting Coach, and this week I'm going to show you how to make your very own R2D2 garbage. Here is what you're going to need to make this little guy. One plastic garbage can. This one measures about 18 inches tall and was $7 at Walmart. Blue, gray, white, and red paint. And an assortment of paint brushes, all different sizes. You can find multi-packs of brushes at Hobby Lobby for around five bucks. You'll also want to grab a pencil, and I'm also going to grab a clear sealant to cover the entire finished piece. When you're choosing paint, be sure to grab an acrylic paint that's for rigid plastic. This brand was $1.37 each at Walmart. I also want to mention that you're going to want to buy a white garbage can. They only had black garbage cans like this at Walmart, so I did end up having to spray paint it. If you do have to go this route, be sure that you buy a flat spray paint that already has primer in it, and be sure to give it a couple coats. Cover your work surface with newspaper before you begin. The first thing we'll do is paint our entire lid gray. Be sure to give that a second coat. While that's drying, we can move on to the body. I'm going to roughly sketch out my design with a pencil before adding paint. First, we'll make a large rectangle at the top. A smaller, tallish rectangle goes below that, with a skinny rectangle right next to it. Finish that side with a tall rectangle. We'll then go and add a skinny, longer rectangle on the other side with some small, long, skinny rectangles below that, and finish that side with a final, tall rectangle. Four small squares go across below the rectangles we made, and finally two large squares below in the middle, one with a large circle inside of it, and the other with a small panel. Finish the remaining areas with some more smaller rectangles. We'll move on to the sides and we'll add some long arms, and some details, and the last thing I'm going to do is add a thick border across the top. Be sure to make this thicker than where the lid sits. Now we can get ready to paint our body while we give our lid just a little bit more time to dry. Now I am going to be moving and painting in sections, putting base colors down first that I know I want to dry before I put another color on top. We're going to be moving around from color to color and from lid to body a lot. We'll paint the thick border on top blue, as well as a few of the rectangles. We'll also paint these front two pieces and the middle chunks of his arms. Next, we'll go through with our gray paint. Paint the large left square at the bottom gray, plus the circle inside the square that we made blue. Paint the inside of the long blue rectangle so it kind of looks like an outlet. And lastly, the joint part and a small panel on the forward facing part of his arms. We'll give that time to dry by moving back to the lid, which should be good to go now. Sketch out one large square on the top of his lid, then two smaller rectangles below that. All of these parts will be painted blue. Finish with some taller rectangles on the sides of the lid. The last thing we can go through to paint are the remaining rectangles and squares. We'll make all of these a brighter white. We'll also paint his arms white. Most of these layers are probably going to need a second coat. Then, just wait for all your layers to dry before moving on to the last step, the detail work. Be sure to pencil out things first if you want a reference. We'll want to outline everything that we've painted. You can always use a black sharpie for outlining if you're uncomfortable using paint. The outlet looking thingy in the middle just needs some air vents added to the gray part, and the gray circle at the bottom becomes a fan. For the lid, we'll paint a large black circle in the middle of the middle blue square, which is R2-D2's eye. One of the blue panels below that gets a bright red dot. Isn't it just cute? This was a time-consuming project since I had to spray paint the garbage can first, and I was sure to take my time to make sure everything looked right. But overall, this was a really fun, relatively inexpensive project. If you purchase the garbage, paintbrushes, and paint all brand new, you'll only spend about 15 bucks. Well, that is all that I have for you this week. 
Be sure to catch Star Wars The Force Awakens opening in theaters on December 18th. And be sure to catch my next episode of The Crafting Coach airing this coming Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on AberdeenNews.com and on our Aberdeen American News Facebook page. I'll be back with another project. We'll tear it apart. We'll break it down. I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what not to do. And hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. In addition to following the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook, be sure to follow my Crafting Coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. And remember, you can access all 36 previous episodes of The Crafting Coach at AberdeenNews.com. Just click the 605 Life tab at the top of the page and scroll down to The Crafting Coach. If you have any tips, ideas, or project suggestions, please email me at mrosendahl at AberdeenNews.com. We'll see all of you on Saturday. Bye!